Hey everybody, I know what I'm going to be for Halloween this year. This scary monster. Uh, we're going to be talking about the curved quad fill brush today. And uh, let's see, to access it, you press B, C, and then Q. It looks like this, you know, hands thing. And let's create a sphere 3D and then make polymesh 3D. Okay. Now, let's use the move brush to flatten this sphere. Okay. Then switch to this view so it looks like a two-dimensional circle. Okay. Now, switch back to your brush or your draw mode. And now we've got curve quad fill uh, selected, so uh, click anywhere and just... Oh, first, one thing I noticed is uh, have Dynamesh turned on. Um, yeah, just make sure you've got that turned on. So click and draw an interesting shape for another Halloween costume. Okay, that fills the line or the space in between the shape you just made and makes it really flat geometry just like that okay now now deselect and then deselect again to dynamesh it so that gets rid of our curved quad fill line and we can make uh, more so okay Okay, there's that. Deselect. Great. Okay, that gets rid of our sphere, sort of. This will be its body. Now, everybody knows what you know a human body would look like. So, uh, stomach, legs, hands, arms. So let's make the neck next. So click anywhere and just draw an interesting shape. That was kind of weird. Let's uh, control Z. Let's do that again. Um, real thin neck. Okay, click and deselect Dynamesh. Okay, now let's make a scary head. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Deselect Dynamesh. Okay. <clears throat> now, let's see. Shoulders. Deselect. Dynamesh. We can probably turn the resolution down on the Dynamesh so it doesn't have all that geometry to worry about. Okay, now it's. Yeah, we're just storyboarding, so this doesn't have to be perfect. Weird arm, deselect Dynamesh. Okay, now a weird claw hand. Oh, I should have had uh, symmetry on. That would have made things a lot easier, but we'll do that for the legs and stuff. Deselect Dynamesh. Okay, now the same type of hand. Now it, it looks a little weird right now, so we can use rotate to rotate it where we want it. And then move it just the same. Just like that. Isn't that cool? Sweet. Okay, now Dynamesh. Now he's got weird feet. Oh, I didn't switch back to draw mode. Okay, there's one of his legs. Dynamesh. Okay, zoom out to see what we've got. And now we can start adding to um, what we've drawn with a different color. So first, we need to look at our active subtool. Okay, and then uh, go color, fill object. Now that this object is this red color. So now we can choose 
a different color and draw over this. So when I deselect Dynamesh, Dynamesh, yes, okay. Then another eye, Dynamesh, <clears throat> and then a yellow mouth. Yeah. Okay. Blah. Mm. Let's see. Control Z. Yeah, let's make it this color. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Okay, Dynamesh. Okay, there's his. Um, this is. Uh, let's see. What else could we do? Uh, shoes. Okay. So. Dark. Yeah. Gray shoes. Nice. Now we have just made a you know 2D image in ZBrush. Pretty easy, and yeah, uh, everybody should be using this all the time, especially for Halloween to figure out what they're going to be for Halloween and things like that. And if anybody liked this video and would want to see more, please subscribe and comment below. Thanks, everybody.